Hi, I'm Sydney Nitzkorski. I have a 10 minute balance and core exercise for you today. Should be pretty mild. Five exercises. We do each one for about 45 seconds, then transition. Uh, we'll do that two times through. All you need is one dumbbell. I have a three pound, but you could use a heavier one. Eight or 10 pounds would be fine. All right, let's start. I'm starting the clock. Start by planting your left leg in the ground, hands behind your head. Bring your right knee to your right elbow, and then gently just tap your foot to the floor. Ideally, with nice control so you're not falling onto that leg. You're balancing everything here on your standing leg and just giving that little tap. If it works for you, you can stay in this connected knee to elbow position. And sometimes you'll be able to hold it, sometimes you won't. And that's fine. And that's part of how we improve our balance is by challenging it. All right, we're already at 30 seconds. Get nice and tall. I have a soft bend in my standing leg and I'm thinking about my bottom rib and my hip connecting. So it's an oblique workout, it's a balance workout. Two more seconds. All right, grab your dumbbell. On that same side, bending to the same side, you go straight over with the dumbbell. So just a dumbbell side bend. Like I said, you could handle a lot more weight. I just have my three pounds, but if you had an eight or 10 or even a 15, that'd probably be fine. I want you to think about going straight to the side. There's no forward flexion here or back extension, just straight to the side. I realize I didn't really give us those 15 seconds I promised to transition. Hi, Bruno. There's my little puppy. Um, anyways, we'll do this one for a little bit longer, probably a full minute. Same idea where you're thinking bottom rib and hip connect, just going right to the side. You get a big stretch on this side and a strengthening on this side. Elbow really wide. And then we'll do these two on the other side. Take a nice deep breath in. All right, now I'll give us the 15 seconds. So take a minute, put the weight down. We're switching to the other side, so that means all the pressure is going to be on the right leg this time. Hands behind the head. Sometimes it takes me a minute to transition from the right to the left. Even if I have that second where I plant this foot, it just takes my body a second to get my balance and break from that puppy didn't just steal my stopwatch. He's done that before and I had to stop the video and redo it. And that's fine for something like this balance workout, but when it's a cardio workout, it just kills me. Sometimes I have to wait a day to do another one. All right, we're thinking about just going laterally, just to the side. We're not bending forwards at all. Probably have time for like four more. Again, if you have the ability, connect and just hold it. Even a second feels like a long time. Two seconds, Woo. good for you. I'm gonna do one more after this. Excellent, and by the way, your knee and your elbow might not connect. They, you might be inches apart. That's totally fine, just do whatever you can. All right, hand behind the head, reaching all the way down. You can, when you come up, go over. It's up to you. Whatever feels good. Sometimes that does feel like it stretches the hip flexor that just got crunched up a little bit in that first exercise. Just do your nice deep breath here. So all of this is standing. Even though it's core work, it's all standing. Very often for core, we're on our back or in a plank, but today we're just incorporating it all with balance work. All right, this is our fourth exercise. The fifth one is my favorite. We'll get to that in just a minute. Have a slight bend in your knees. I was locking my knees out. It's better if they're a little bit bent here. If you have trouble with balance on this one or any of them, pick your spot on the floor and just stare at it. Okay, let's do one more side bend. All right, let me show you the last one. I'm gonna use this dumbbell as my focal point, so I'm putting it at the edge of my mat. Both hands overhead of one leg. You're just gonna reach forwards, staring at that dumbbell, stand nice and tall, and then switch sides. Go ahead and join me. Um, really important for this one is to think about your fingertips and your toes being connected in one line. So your hands and your legs are balancing each other out. If you move together, that's the best way for balance. If your upper body goes and then your lower body goes, it's not ideal. So you're trying to make your body coordinate with itself and really thinking about moving in one line as if you had a metal pole or something strapped to your body and you have to keep it straight between your hand and your foot. And ideally, 
your toe is facing the ground. Mine sometimes turns out, that's not great. So I'm gonna really focus on turning it down. You might feel your glutes turning on here. They should be doing a lot of work. Let's get one more and relax. We're gonna do that all again. Let's start on the left side this time. Uh, we don't need the dumbbell yet. So starting on the left side means we plant our right leg down, hands behind the head, and let's start. <laughs> Didn't they say it takes me a minute to just get my balance? There we go. Even though the left side is moving, I'm really focusing on my right side. Here's my, my balance center. Just with that gentlest little tap. Imagine your toe is touching the top of an egg. You don't want to crack it. And sometimes you feel like, okay, my balance is great. And other times, like just then, not great. So just slow it down a little bit when that happens. There we go. Get into your groove. Get one more tap after this, then we'll grab that dumbbell. Done. Let's grab your dumbbell. Hand overhead. This time I'm gonna try and pull a little bit further, see how it feels. I go mostly just about my knee and then pull over. If you get further than you need, great. Just don't bend your legs to get down, okay? You wanna be mostly straight. You never totally wanna to lock out a joint, but slight bend, they're mostly straight. I should say you don't wanna lock out a joint when you're weight bearing. Big inhale, through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Going side to side, straight over. Bruno seems mesmerized by this, he's so still. That's unusual for him. Hey, at least he's not stealing my stopwatch. Okay, chin up a little bit. Think about your obliques, your side muscles working. I hope they're sore tomorrow. If they are, please leave a comment, let me know. I feel so happy when people tell me they're sore from my workouts because most of the time it means you worked hard enough to get a little muscular response. All right, last one, switch sides. Dumbbell goes down, plant the other leg. This time it's my left leg, hands behind the head. Start to lift. Take whatever time you need. I don't know if you can hear the cracks. It's not even a crack, it's just like a, I don't know, it's a noise happening in my hip bone right there. And it doesn't hurt, but it's always there. Do that connection for a little bit longer when you can and when you can't, that's fine. Our balance, just like strength only, gets better when we challenge it. If we always do things that are easy, it's not gonna get better. Probably over time it'll get a little worse. Balance is so important to continually challenge and also keep a strong core. It's hard to have or impossible to have good balance with a weak core, they go together. One more. Good, grab your dumbbell. We'll do the same thing where I bend as far as I can in one direction and then pull it over. And it's just sort of a nice stretch after that first exercise. Make sure that shoulder's staying all the way down. Don't crunch it up like this. Keep it down even though you're leaning to the side. This is our second and last time that we're doing this, but absolutely always come back to balance. So maybe do this one day and then do some other strength videos or strength workouts or go for a walk, whatever you're gonna do for your workout and then come back to it. And ideally it gets, it gets easier, it gets better. Let me need my stopwatch, Bruno. One more. All right, that was more than one. We're gonna reach ahead. We're gonna go about a full minute with this one. We have time, we're at 8.45. So, reaching forwards. Again, if this feels fine, maybe hold it for one, two, three seconds. And then stand up nice and tall, arms and legs working together, going on to the other side. I don't have my dumbbell as a focal point, but I'm just staring right at the middle of my mat here. And again, my toes facing down. I don't want it pointing out. I want my hips facing down towards the floor here. And about another 20, 30 seconds. That'll round out our whole 10 minutes. I love doing balance work. <clears throat> I appreciate these videos because it forces me to work on balance. It's not necessarily something I would do on my own, but I appreciate working on it. I was a gymnast through college and I had great balance then. 
as you might imagine. And it's, it's not something that stays with you forever. You have to continue to work on it. So I appreciate teaching these classes and bringing my balance back. It might not be where it was when I was 20, now I'm 44, but it'll, it'll be better than it would be otherwise. Last one, stand up. My friends, we are done. Thank you for working out with me. Feel free to subscribe if you want. Um, you can also leave a comment on what you might like to see, what other classes, so five minutes or 10 minutes or mild or spicy. Let me know and if I can accommodate it, I 100% will. Um, but I'd be curious to know what you'd like to do. Have a great day. Thanks for working out with me. Bye.